update. Am I the a-hole? My mom feels my sister should have married my husband instead of me. Original post. I'm upset with my mom and sister because of something my mom said, but everyone around me feels like I'm overreacting. And I need an honest opinion about whether I'm being insecure or if my mom and husband are wrong. Here's some backstory. My husband, James, 34 male, and I, 29 female, grew up as neighbors. My sister, Fran, 34 male, was in the same grade as James. Everyone knew Fran because she was smart and beautiful, and James had a huge crush on her. He asked her to the senior prom, but she turned him down in front of the whole school. Despite that, they stayed friends. After high school, James moved to a different state for college, and we didn't hear much from him except during the holidays. James and I weren't friends growing up, because I was in middle school when all this happened, and I was much younger. Fran and James would often hang out together, excluding me. Later, I went to college and got my first job in the same city where James was living. My mom suggested I reach out to him since I didn't know anyone in the area. We became friends and three years later we got married. We both have good jobs and love our life together. We moved back to our hometown during COVID to be closer to James's mom who had health issues and because we could work remotely. Fran had a good life for a while too. She got married at 23 to a well-off man. But two years ago, she found out he had been cheating on her for most of their marriage. So she left him and moved back in with our mom. Fran hadn't worked during her marriage and expected to receive significant alimony. But due to complications with a prenup, she got very little and has been struggling financially. She found a job but can't afford her own place yet. So she's still living with our mom. James and I supported her during the divorce. Since he and Fran were friends growing up, they have a close bond with inside jokes and shared stories, which sometimes makes me feel like a third wheel. Although James makes an effort to include me and explain things, Fran visits us frequently, two to three times a week, often staying for dinner and sleeping in our guest room. She usually comes over when I'm not home, and I often find them sitting next to each other on a sofa when I get back. It reminds me of my childhood when Fran would exclude me from her social activities. Fran is also very comfortable around James, walking around in just a towel or sleeping in a guest room in her underwear with the door unlocked. I've expressed my concerns to her but she dismisses them, saying we're a family and it's no big deal. I've talked to James about it and while he now tries to include me more in conversations, I still feel uneasy. The main issue occurred last weekend when I was with my mom and Fran. Fran was reminiscing about how James used to do her homework and chores. She said, he was so in love with me, and I felt guilty taking advantage of him. My mom then jokingly said, I wish you had been smart enough to marry James instead of your loser husband. You wouldn't be in this situation now. Fran just smiled and nodded, but I was hurt. I told my mom that James is my husband, and I didn't appreciate her making comments like that. My mom doubled down, saying that it made sense for Fran to have married James because both he and I are financially successful while Fran is struggling. She said it was just hypothetical and that she only wanted both her daughters to be happy. I didn't like these comments and told them not to talk about my marriage like that. Fran then said I was being too sensitive. I ended up arguing with both of them and leaving. When I got home and told James what happened, he sided with my mom and Fran, saying my mom's comments was just a harmless joke. I also brought up Fran's behavior in our house, but he said that was an issue between me and Fran, and he wasn't going to tell her what she could or couldn't wear. Despite the apologies I received afterward, I still feel uneasy. Am I overreacting or do I have the right to be upset? Should I be more secure in my relationship with James? Now for the top comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole. Your mother's comments was inappropriate and disrespectful towards your marriage. And it's concerning that your husband is dismissing your feelings about Fran's behavior. It's not about insecurity, it's about wanting respect in your relationship at home. This has been a pattern throughout my life. Due to age difference, Fran has always treated me like a kid. I just felt insulted that my mom completely ignored my feelings while making such comments. However, a part of me also has been jealous of Fran because of all the attention she got and I was the nerdy little weird girl in our family. Not the a-hole. They're viewing a husband as nothing but a pocketbook and a lovesick boy. I wonder how your dad would feel if he knew his wife was talking about marriage like that. 
Unfortunately, my dad left us when I was four, so I would not put any value of what he thinks about any of the situation. I also do not understand how me being financially independent has anything to do with not needing a husband that I love dearly. Not a hole. If I was you, I'd be seriously looking to move away from your hometown and your mom and sister. Would James be on board with that? Not saying James would cheat, but being in close contact with your family seems to have put added stress on your marriage. And you were happier before the COVID move. This would be a bit tricky at this time because James's mom needs us right now due to her health issues. Moreover, we also bought our house last year, so we are stuck in this place for better or for worse. I'm waiting for a friend to try attempt something with your husband within three to six months. Also, you need to tell her no more sleepovers or just showing up. And put some clothes on for God's sake. And this is a firm boundary. And no, you don't care if they think you're overreacting. This is how it's going to be. All these comments have me really alarmed. I am going to talk to my husband regarding this. I do not want to be accusatory, but this whole situation has made me really insecure, and I was barely able to sleep last night. I trust him with all my heart, but I really am rethinking all the things Fran has done around him, and how she has undermined and belittled my feelings on every occasion. As for my mom, I got a half-apt apology from her last night about how she just blurted out something stupid, and how I am overreacting to all this, and she only wishes the best for both her daughters. Now for the update. Thank you everyone for your support on my previous post. The comments really made me anxious, and I started considering that James might have married me because of his crush on Fran. This thought increased my anxiety, and I started feeling paranoid. However, James has always been open with me. He even asks me to check his phone for new messages when he's not around, so I knew there was nothing suspicious there. Still, I felt uneasy about how Fran always seems to know when I'm not home and why I often find her and James sitting together on a couch when I come back. I tried talking to James about my feelings, and while he acknowledged that my concerns were valid, he also pointed out that Fran is going through a tough time and refused to say anything negative about her or my mom. Last Friday, I went to the gym as usual and when I came home, Fran was in the living room while James was cooking dinner. I felt frustrated and asked her what she was doing here. She said she didn't have any plans for the night and just came to hang out with us. This irritated me, and I told her that I wanted a quiet weekend with my husband and asked if she could come some other time. She could tell I was upset and started saying that my mom's comments were just silly jokes that I needed to let go. I told her I didn't find it funny, and we ended up having a fight. Fran accused me of always being insecure and annoying, just like when we were kids, and said no one liked me. Her words hurt deeply, but at that moment, James stepped in and told Fran she needed to leave. I had never seen him be so firm with her before. Fran muttered some unpleasant things to James as she left, and I ended up in tears, spending the night in our room alone. The next morning, I prepared a list of everything I wanted to discuss with James. Your comments helped me organize my thoughts. I was feeling very insecure and started questioning whether James married me for who I am or just because I'm Fran's sister and look like her. People used to call me dollar store Fran in high school. When James and I sat down for a long conversation, I told him about my anxieties and insecurities, including how it bothered me that he spends so much time with Fran and shares inside jokes with her. I asked if he still had any lingering feelings for her. He was calm and reassuring throughout the conversation. He said he would be honest with me, but he didn't want me to resent him for it later. He explained that he knew Fran had used him during their school days because she was aware of his crush. When he went to college, Fran still tried to stay in touch, but the distance made him realize how badly she treated him. That's when he decided to cut contact and focus on himself. He said that was the reason he didn't visit often during holidays and eventually stopped being close friends with Fran. I told him I always felt like his second choice because he had chosen Fran over me when we were younger. He said I was only 13 at a time, and if he had liked me back then, we'd be facing a very different kind of issue now. He admitted that when I first reached out to him, he thought I would be just like Fran and wasn't too keen on meeting me. But after we spent time together, he realized I was nothing like her. We soon became close, started dating, and eventually got married. 
He also mentioned that when we got together, Fran was already married, and he saw how I often put her on a pedestal, feeling jealous whenever she posted pictures of vacations or new things her husband bought for her. He didn't tell me then that he didn't enjoy being around Fran because he knew that, in my mind, she was someone I looked up to. He explained that since Fran's divorce, he wasn't sure how to act around her. He said he was grateful to me for uprooting our lives to move back to our hometown for his mom's health and wanted to support my family the same way. When Fran's marriage ended, he tried to be there for her, out of support for me, even though it meant spending more time with her and revisiting old high school memories he would rather forget. I expressed my concern about Fran knowing my gym schedule and always coming over when I'm not around. He agreed that it was odd, but reassured me that he had always maintained a respectful distance and would have told me if anything seemed inappropriate. He said she mainly just talks about old movies, TV shows, and gossips about high school friends. James said he was willing to be the bad guy if I wanted him to tell Fran to visit less often, but he also mentioned that I'd probably reconcile with Fran and my mom eventually. So, he didn't want to be blamed for being mean. However, he wasn't comfortable telling Fran what she could or couldn't wear around the house, as he thought it would be inappropriate coming from him. I felt reassured by his responses and realized I need to trust him more. On Sunday, my mom and Fran came over. My mom apologized sincerely, saying she didn't mean to make me feel bad with her comments and never wished any harm on my marriage. She just wanted to emphasize how great a guy James is and hoped Fran could find someone like him someday. Fran was a bit distant but did apologize for her behavior, blaming it on hormones. She explained that she likes spending time with her sister and best friend, which is why she visits often. I told her she's always welcome but should call ahead in case James and I have plans. And she agreed. I want to move past this, but I think it's important to set some boundaries around Fran's visits, especially when I'm not home, as I know it bothers James too. Overall, I feel like things are better now, but I realize I still need therapy to deal with my insecurities. I'm relieved that my worst fears didn't come true and that I have an amazing husband who is supportive and understanding. I don't know if Fran ever had thoughts about seducing your husband, but I think she was basking in his attention and was definitely living in a what-if world. She's divorced and financially insecure. Your husband was a potential future that she turned down. When she is over at your house, alone with your husband, she can pretend that that is her life. Married and financially secure to a man who, at one time, worshipped the ground she walked on. However, your husband doesn't feel that way anymore. I think you can trust his words on that. It sounds like he really just doesn't feel comfortable being the one to set boundaries because he doesn't want to hurt her feelings. And she's your sister. Create your boundaries. No more sleepovers. Always be appropriately dressed. And don't come over suddenly. Call first. And be firm. These are not unreasonable boundaries. You're literally living in the same town. There's no reason for her to sleep over. Don't let your guard down just yet. Your sister especially hasn't completely earned your trust. It wouldn't surprise me if Fran tried to start trouble sooner or later. She sounded more petulant than apologetic. Last story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to attend my brother's wedding because of the way his fiancé treated my wife? So my 32 male brother, 29 male, is getting married next month. I was originally excited, but things took a turn when his fiancé, 27 female, made some hurtful comments about my wife, 30 female. For context, my wife has fibromyalgia, which affects her energy levels and sometimes requires her to need extra support. It's something we've navigated together for years. At a recent family event, my brother's fiancé told my wife, in front of everyone, that it was selfish of her to consider having a baby given her condition. She implied that raising a child with fibromyalgia would be a burden on me and suggested we think about adoption instead. My wife was mortified. She tried to brush it off in the moment, but I could tell how deeply it affected her. After we left, she broke down in tears, saying she felt judged and humiliated. The next day, I called my brother to talk about it. I wasn't necessarily expecting an apology from his fiancé, but I at least hoped my brother would recognize how hurtful her comment was. Instead, he defended her, saying, She didn't mean it that way. She's just direct. You know how she is. That response really upset me. I told him it wasn't about how she is, 
It was about showing respect, especially to family. He dismissed my concerns, saying I was overreacting. After thinking it over, I decided that I wouldn't attend the wedding if his fiancée couldn't acknowledge how inappropriate her comment was. My brother called me dramatic and accused me of ruining his big day over a small comment. Now my parents are involved, urging me to let it go for the sake of family harmony. They believe I'm being unreasonable for skipping my brother's wedding over one awkward moment. But my wife feels validated by my decision, and honestly, so do I. I don't think we should have to tolerate that kind of disrespect just to keep the peace. So, am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Your brother's fiancé was out of line, and your brother defending her is unacceptable. It wasn't just a small comment. It was hurtful and disrespectful to your wife. You're not being dramatic. You're setting boundaries. If they can't respect you and your wife, you're completely justified in skipping the wedding. Family harmony doesn't mean putting up with disrespect. It's exactly how I feel. Family harmony shouldn't come at the expense of my wife's well-being. I didn't want to make this a big thing, but when my brother brushed it off, it felt like he was choosing convenience over us. At the end of the day, I just want to stand by my wife and not let this kind of disrespect slide. If your brother and your parents were concerned about family harmony, why didn't they insist on a fiancé apologizing to your wife? That whole concept goes both ways. My brother, and I guess his fiancé now, has never been the one to apologize. The fiancé should apologize for the sake of family. She is being way too dramatic and tearing the family apart. Why would she poison the relationship between family this way and ruin her husband's wedding day by being so hateful and dramatic? I mean, that's just you being you. You being honest, just the way you are, no? There's your answer. I've never really thought of using the same argument before. Please do. It generally helps those members of the family break free of the familiar emotional ruts slash family dynamic and see reason. In your case, it might help your parents see just how nasty and disrespectful your future sister-in-law was being to your wife and you. Suggest to them that we don't welcome new daughter-in-law to the family by allowing her to take a few pot shots at existing daughter-in-law. That's not cool. It likely won't help your future sister-in-law or brother to see the light. When you say they rarely apologize, that says a whole lot about the kind of people they are. Short of a true apology to both you and your wife, feel free to skip the wedding.